my skincare routine is probably the most simple but effective that there is. And I looked it up, y'all, to see what dermatologists have to say about my routine. And guess what? They agree. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to our channel. Today, it's just me, Christy, and I'm sharing with you my three-step skincare routine. Simple but effective. You guys requested this video. You know that we respond to your comments. So leave us your feedback. And of course, you know, I want your ideas on alternatives to the products that I'm using today. We are diving right in. But if you want more content on relationships and lifestyle, make sure you click the like button, subscribe and click the bell for notifications so you don't miss an upload because we upload new content every week, y'all. When you subscribe, make sure you leave us a comment saying, I subscribe, and we'll be more than happy to reach out to you personally, and thank you for joining the family. If you have curly hair and you haven't checked out my curly hair routine, make sure you go check that out. And if you guys want an updated curly hair routine, since I colored my hair, y'all, I don't know if y'all can see, I colored my hair and I had to change my products up. It was an SOS. <laughs> so if you guys want an update on that, leave me a comment below. Contrary to what my husband may think, I do not like to spend a long time in the bathroom, okay? I try to minimize it as much as possible. I am a stickler for time and I have a lot to do. So this routine is very, very quick. I truly believe that beauty is from the inside out. And that is not just a metaphor, but that is also literal, y'all. <laughs> I focus primarily on nutrition for clear skin. I use only three products for my skin. One cleanser, one exfoliant, and one moisturizer. These are the products that I'm going to share with you guys. Stick around for that. But first, I want to share the source of healthy clear skin that is nutrition i looked it up y'all and dermatologists agree that the source of healthy clear skin is from the inside out it's from nutrition they actually don't recommend spending all this money on the new product for this all these fancy skincare products layering all this stuff on your skin they say that can actually be harsh on the skin it can clog the pores and lead to more breakouts so then guess what you need to spend some more money on another product to clear up the breakouts and help to cleanse those clogged pores. So oftentimes we are addressing symptoms and not the root of issues. You can be tossing all this Mucinex down, but if you're still eating yogurt, cheese, and drinking milk, what you doing? I actually don't eat fried foods, I don't drink soda, I don't eat a lot of oil, except for my one cheat day. And if you haven't yet seen me and my husband's cheat day, make sure you check it out. We are linking the video below. Our cheat days are epic. But outside of that, don't do the oil, don't do the fried foods, don't do a lot of processed foods, and definitely don't do sugar. Now on my cheat day, y'all, I have a massive sweet tooth. So give me the ice cream, give me the cookies, but that is one day a week. Dermatologists recommend that you eat or drink lots of greens every day. And this we know, but do we do? I actually drink a green smoothie every morning. If you haven't yet seen our video, what we eat in a day, then make sure you check that out. I will link that also below. You can see exactly how I make my green smoothie. Check out that recipe. It is delicious and of course nutritious. I had to say, y'all know it's a little corny. But Dermatologists say that greens actually brighten and hydrate the skin. So we can spend all this money trying to get all these topical products to hydrate our skin. And if we are not nourishing our skin from the inside, guess what? It's not going to be as effective. 
I never drink soda actually, even on my cheat day. I'm all water. Now you can have whatever you want on your cheat day. I believe that. I'm just not a soda gal or juice. I drink a gallon of water every day. You actually only need half your body weight in ounces, but I like to exercise a lot and therefore I need a little extra. Take your body weight, cut it in half. That is the number of ounces of water that you need every day. Get yourself a nice bottle that gives you markers helps you to be motivated during the day so you can actually see your progress. Think of your skin as a raisin. Raisins are really wrinkly, right? We definitely don't want our skin looking like that. But the hydrated raisin is a nice smooth grape. Our skin is just like those raisins. Without water, it's pretty wrinkly and it's not the smooth glow that we're going for. Keep in mind that the skin is the largest organ on the body. So when our bodies don't have enough water, our vital organs are gonna get it first. That water is going to the brain, that water is going to the heart. Where is it gonna pull that water from when there's not enough? Our skin the largest organ. It's gonna pull it from the skin because it's a lot more important that you survive than that you look pretty. <laughs> so although we want our skin to look amazing, if we don't have enough water, then the skin is the first place the body is gonna pull that water from when it is in need. So do your skin a favor and drink enough water. I cannot stress that enough. And a bonus tip, I know we're talking about nutrition and we're about to hop into our products, but a bonus tip is sleep. Sufficient sleep helps our skin to be more radiant. Otherwise, we can have the bags under our eyes and the darkness under our eyes. We all know that we look a little more refreshed when we've gotten enough sleep. Beyond that, dermatologists agree, sleeping on a silk or satin pillowcase actually protects the skin and keeps it from getting creases and wrinkles. The same satin pillow that helps to keep our hair nice and moisturized does the same thing for the skin. Now on to products. As I said before, there are three main things that we need. The first thing is a cleanser. Witch Hazel is my absolute favorite. A natural product, it does not have alcohol. An aloe vera product, very gentle, but effective in cleansing the skin. It is not drying, but it does help to prevent those breakouts. Everyone needs to choose a cleanser that works for your skin type. I have a normal skin type, so it doesn't produce an excess of oil except at that time of the month when Aunt Flo comes to pay a visit. Oftentimes she likes to announce her coming with an irritation in the skin and you know that it's in those areas that correspond to our hormones. Often you'll find that ladies you'll get a breakout in the same area every month if your Aunt Flo likes to do you like mine. Around that time of the month, I will use the cleanser at least in the morning when I wake up and in the evening right before I go to sleep. All we want to do, put some on a cotton ball and then we just want to go in a circular motion in every part of the skin. Once you have covered all the ground, good to go. Simple and quick. Step number two is something that is not daily. I only do it once a week. If you find it necessary, you can do it twice a week, but dermatologists recommend that you only exfoliate once or twice a week. We know that that helps us not to have that dead skin piled up and allows the skin to be brighter and more radiant. I use different things to exfoliate. Sometimes I just use a washcloth not being rough with the skin. We don't want to tear it up and get wrinkles too soon, but we just want to make sure that we gently rub off that dead skin. What I'm using at the moment is St. Ives green tea and bamboo scrub. It has natural exfoliating ingredients and it unclogs pores. 
This is what I'm currently using, but I do use different products to exfoliate and try not to use the ones that are too, too rough. This one I find to be a little more gentle than the St. Ives Apricot Scrub because that one has larger grains in it, if that's what you call it, <laughs> and it feels a little rougher. This one, you definitely feel the grains, but they're smaller and it feels a little gentler to me. Sometimes it can feel a little drying, so definitely moisturizing immediately after. But this one is made with 100% natural exfoliating ingredients. So I like that. I am kind of a natural gal. But if you have another good exfoliating product that is gentle and not drying, please leave me a comment below with an exfoliant that I can try. And number three is of course to moisturize. If you're washing your face in the morning, you should moisturize immediately after you wash your face, as well as moisturize right before you go to sleep in the evening. I don't use a lot of products and I don't typically have dry skin. So I don't moisturize my skin more than once a day, but everyone should choose a moisturizer according to your skin type. Again, I have a normal skin type. So heavier moisturizers if your skin is dry and lighter moisturizers if your skin is oily. I'm not gonna lie y'all, sometimes I do use scented products on my face, but I do not have sensitive skin and my skin does not react negatively to it. Now you should not typically use scented lotion on your face and you have to know your skin. It's still been cold, so in the winter, I use a lotion on my face, the same one I use on my body, which again is not recommended, but this one is a little heavier for colder weather. This is the Renew product with Melaleuca in it. This is the moisturizer that I'm currently using on my face, the heavier product for the colder months. But again, it is a heavier lotion and it's not specifically for the face. So you do you when it comes to knowing your skin, okay? Also leave me a comment below with the moisturizer that you use for your face that is not too heavy, but not too thin. Something you recommend I try. A bonus tip is don't touch your face. I have really had to work at not touching my face. It spreads bacteria and it can lead to wrinkles, scarring, and more breakouts, which is exactly what we're trying to avoid. So hands down. Thanks so much again for joining me for my skincare routine. We listen to you guys' feedback, so thank you for telling us what you want to see. Next, I'm queuing up for you my curly hair routine, so if you haven't seen that one, make sure you check it out. A lot has changed in the brushes I use, shampoo, conditioner, all those things since I colored my hair. So if you want that updated routine, then comment below. If you made it to the end of this video, leave a comment saying water down below, then go drink some. If you haven't already, make sure you click the like button, click subscribe, click the bell for notifications so you don't miss an upload. When you subscribe, leave us a comment saying I subscribed and we'll be more than happy to reach out to you personally and thank you for joining the family.